Hello, Dobby neighbouring. May I take your complaint? Yeah, hi. I've just seen the guy from three doors down bend down and stroke my cat. I've had to lock the cat flap so she can't get back in. She's going to have to survive out there on her own now. Just because that selfish moron wanted some attention. He should get his own bloody cat. Okay, and did this incident occur on your property? What? No, it was in his front garden. Ah, okay. Unfortunately, he's done nothing wrong there then, as he's following the government guidelines and staying within his own property. What? No, what? No. no, that's got nothing to do with it. He's touched my cat. Unfortunately, the guidelines don't cover the stroking of non-resident pets. Well, they bloody well should cover that. Are you telling me that if a neighbour touched your kid on the head, you'd let your kid back in? Excuse me, madam, but are you telling me you wouldn't? Of course I wouldn't. I'd have to follow the guidelines, wouldn't I? Can I just ask, madam, do you have any children? No, I don't. Not that that's any of your business. For our records, madam, can I take your address, please? Why do you need my address? It's his address you need. Uh, well, for our records, we need the address of the complainant and the alleged offender. There's no alleged about it. He's at number 56, Copper Beach Avenue. But I'm not giving you my address. I don't want anyone coming anywhere near me. I hope you'll read him the riot act, though. Well... Perhaps now that your cat has been contaminated, it might be best for both parties if it moves in with your neighbour. Poor kitty.